Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and today I will answer a question that probably many of you who are considering to become an airline pilot are asking yourself and that is when is the best time to start your pilot training? Now flight schools are always publishing the aircraft manufacturer's statistics saying that so many new aircraft will be built and so many new seats will have to be filled and all of that is nice but if you look around the internet, you'll find a lot of criticism on it and a lot of posts saying, no, you shouldn't become an airline pilot anymore, you can't gain a lot there anymore, the golden days are over. And just don't do it because it's all shit anyway. That is the kind of post that I've been faced with when I was researching flight schools and when I was researching pilot training in around 2014-2015. And basically, whenever I asked questions on professional pilots, forums or Facebook groups and so on, whatever question I asked, I always got answers saying, just don't do it, it's all shit anyway. And that really made me doubt if it is actually a good idea to become an airline pilot. And that is what those constant miseries you find on the internet are really telling young people who endeavor to become a pilot and now let me just close up with those once and for all those posts are bullshit if you want to become an airline pilot the best time to do it is now right now when you are watching this video and I don't ma I don't think it matters if that is today in mid-2020, if you're watching this in one year, in two years, in three years, in four years, in five years, it doesn't matter when you're watching this. The only truth that can be t said about becoming an airline pilot and when the best time is for it, is that the best time is when you are considering to become one. Because it is simply impossible to foresee how the pilot market is going to develop over the two and a half, three years from the moment you decide you want to become an airline pilot until you've researched your flight schools, found the best offer and most importantly the best offer that suits you and then until you have completed the training. So we're looking at three, maybe even three and a half years and it is simply impossible to foresee how the pilot market will develop in that time. We are constantly seeing ups and downs. Now, when I fil finished my pilot training, the second biggest airline in my country just announced bankruptcy one week before I finished. And that meant that at that time, it, it all of a sudden became very, very hard for me to actually find a job. While two weeks earlier, things looked golden. And... Everybody leaving the school had a job within a matter of one or two months. Now, when I left, it took several months to get one. But I've been lucky I even got one. And I've got one where I was based close to home, while many other people are all of a sudden at the other end of the world, just because they can't find anything. And the honest truth is that just about... Two and a half, three years later, another friend of mine started the pilot training. He finished in April 2020 after the start of the first COVID lockdown. And he's still looking for a job to date. However, there are also many others who started right in the COVID lockdowns, who started at the beginning of the very first COVID wave here in Europe in uh, about March, April 2020. And they've just finished their flight schools now. And right now are golden times again for pilots. Almost every airline I know is actually hiring. And there are many airlines hiring cadets as well. Here in Europe alone, Wizz Air, DHL, Ryanair, and many others. And now you will probably know those people on those Facebook groups. They just say, yeah, but Ryanair is shit. They're just going to treat you like slaves. And the same goes for Wizz Air and DHL is shit anyway. And it's all shit. You won't get that Lufthansa contract. Well, let's have a look at a practical example. Let's take Ryanair. 
because everybody likes to bash Ryanair, right? So, from a pretty secure source, I know for certain that a Ryanair first officer is currently in these days going home in Germany with a net pay of about three to three and a half thousand euros. Now, imagine you decided to become an airline pilot when you've been 18 years old. You've probably finished your flight training at the age of 21 and then start flying at the, on the line at the age of 22. So, you're 22 years old and you're earning 3,000 euros net. Now, is that a bad salary? Of course, it's not the 5,500 that the Lufthansa guys got 20 years ago. But, hey, you're earning 3,000 euros net. That is definitely not bad. That is definitely not bad at all. And there are other airlines where you even get a 1,000 more. Where you start up at 4,000 euros net in Germany. So, we just have to say that whatever those people say who are just grumpy on the internet, they say, but you're being treated shit and you have a shit roster and you're flying too much and everything is just shit, then, well, they have an easy talk. You know what I think of those people? I really think either... They did pilot training, got themselves into some high debt, which undoubtedly the majority of young pilots are in, and then they didn't take any job that was below Lufthansa level salary, so of course they ended up jobless, and then they got grumpy. Or they are almost at the edge of retirement and just don't want to accept that they are not earning their 300,000 euros a year anymore as captains, but maybe 200,000. But let's be honest here, you're still getting 200,000 euros. And of course, in some airlines, it's less. There are airlines where you get 120,000 euros gross as a captain a year. But let's be totally honest here, that is still not a bad salary. And of course, an entry level job may not pay you very well, but relatively said very well. However, as said, 3,000 euros net. All right, fine, you're paying 1,000 to the bank to repay your loan. That gives you 2,000 net. Then, of course, you probably are living in a big city, close to an airport, so chances are the rent you're paying is not that little either. But hey, you can make a decent living from it. You can make a fairly decent living from it. And of course, after a couple of years, once you've gained some flight experience, things are going to change and you can always change the airline and go into an airline that's paying you better. But all of this said, let's summarize this video. I really don't think that there are any reasons not to become an airline pilot right now when you are watching this. The honest truth is, the flight schools will always say it's going to be golden 10 years ahead. Now, that's probably just as incorrect as saying that the golden days of pilots are over. Of course, we're working a lot these days, but let's be totally honest, there is a legal limit on how much you can fly, and unless you're working for an airline where you literally spend 21 hours a day in a hotel for six days a week, and then just fly one flight a day, which of course does happen in some very rare cases, but unless that is the case for you. The flight time regulations will give you plenty of free time. And overall, I have to say that, yes, sometimes it does take going to the other edge of your continent in order to get that first job. There's no doubt about it. But if you're willing to do that for a few years, then go ahead by any means, become an airline pilot. And do it right now, because it will be impossible to foresee how the next three to four years, which is when you are finally searching for a job, are going to be like. So, hope you found this one interesting. Leave your comments in the video below to tell me what you thought about this, and tell me your experience if you have any. Thank you very much for joining, and I'm looking forward to see you all on the next one. Finally, if you do want to support the channel, 
consider subscribing and consider maybe a small donation through the buy me a coffee link below this video.